Hello, this is Dave for That's Us Gaming, and today I wanted to give you my first impressions of Yakuza 0 for the PC. Now, um, I've not really played any of the Yakuza games. Uh, I did rent the first one on the PlayStation 2 way back when, when I was still working in Blockbusters, but uh, if I remember correctly, I didn't really get on with it, and that was that. So this is my first real uh, toe dip in the water with Yakuza for a long, long time. Uh, mainly because, like, the others were on PlayStation and I primarily played on Xbox. So when I heard that Sega were bringing out the Yakuza games, and I, I have heard um, good things about them, I thought I'd give it a go. Now... I've had a few hours to play around, I've played through the first chapter and I'll be honest with you, the reason I'm making this video isn't so much to give you a lowdown uh, about the story or anything like that, but I, I have to be fair, what a great game. I, I just wanted to make a, a quick video to say that, quite frankly, uh, I've got a fair few hours now. Uh, with the game, uh, at least at least ten hours with it, and most of that time has not been doing the story. Um, it, it's funny. I mean, this the area where you're at, you're a little corner of a, a Japanese city, all neon lights and stuff. But that there is about Christ, maybe a fifth. Of the size of, do you, do you know? No, I think it's even smaller than that. But uh, just, it is tiny compared to all these open world games that you see now. But there is so much fun. Literally, I think people like uh, Ubisoft and you, you know, you the typical ones, the ones that make an absolute massive fucking sandbox, and then. A million and one fucking fetch quests to do in it. I think they need to sit down and just see what Sega have created with a tiny, tiny little map. Honestly, I the the combat's great. The you know the the gameplay is actually good. And to be perfectly honest with you, I am enjoying the story. But I I noticed on the map these little purple items, and I thought, ooh, let's have a look. So I go following around and having a look and there's a bowling alley with, to be honest with you, a, a very fun bowling game. You know, it's, it's simple, it's enjoyable. You can choose between uh, whether you want to play three frames, whether you want to play ten frames, whether you want to challenge the staff to a game of bowling, which was quite nice. Um, I found pool. I found oh, and the pool. The pool is not just pool. You can choose between uh, the nine ball. You can choose between eight ball. Choose the the level of your opponent. Uh, there was darts there as well. Uh, there was a batting range with several different difficulty levels. Uh, I found that quite hard, cause, mainly because my timing is shit. Um, there's a karaoke bar where. It's fucking the the honest to god the best way I can describe it is the most fucking Japanese thing you will ever see. Uh, you start off, you know, you go into the the karaoke bar, you can see uh, a list of songs, and then it comes up um, almost like uh, Guitar Hero where you have to time, but, but just like in karaoke, it's like the buttons match the the lyrics that you're singing. So as, as he's singing a word. It'll be, uh, you know, you have to press Y, B, A, something like that. And um, just halfway through the song then, you'll just transform into something like to, like a music video. And it's just, it's fucking crazy. But um, I actually found myself quite enjoying the songs. Uh, so I've done that a lot. And also what I really like is there is a Sega arcade. And to be honest with you, it's not, uh, it's not dissimilar to Shenmue, and because it has Space Harrier in there. What I was gutted about though was there was no Super Hang On, 
whether you find that later on, I don't know. Maybe I haven't explored enough, but there, there was no uh, super hang on, unfortunately, on this one. But um, yeah, so I've been playing the game um, so far. As I say, I I really enjoy it. Um, I'm enjoying the arcadey style fighting. I'm, I am finding it a lot like Shenmue. Um, you know, there's there's a, a nice mixture of exploration and combat. Not to mention, as I said, uh, you know, just stuff to do like the vending machines. Uh, you know, finding uh, different entertainment, which is nice. Lots of different restaurants to eat in to restore your health. It's it's something different. As I say, it's not um, it's not constant. The only constant thing that really um, was starting to get on my nerves a bit is as you're running around, you know, the little uh, text box will pop up with, hey you, or I recognize him, wait, and then they'll just chase you and you can either try and get away or nine times out of ten they end up just like jumping you and you've got to try and fight off these people. But um, still, that, that's not too bad. I don't mind that. I mean, you know, it's... <laughs> every fight you earn money which I then get to put in the grabber machines or onto Space Harry or something like that so you know it's not too bad it's it's keeping me <laughs> it, it's keeping me in games which is good but I, I just find it um, I find it so funny that as I say a, a sandbox game like this with a tiny tiny little sandbox has so much more to do than a game like Ghost Recon, for example, where they, they literally give you the world's biggest fucking map and the same shit to do over and over again. So it's, um, yeah, it has been very good. I am, I'll be honest with you, uh, I've heard that, I think it was Yakuza, is it Kiwami or something like that? Apologies for the pronunciation. But um, I heard that's coming out for it, and that this this game now has got me very interested for that. And uh, I'm not sure uh, it's something about Yakuza Six. Now, I, apparently, Yakuza Six has a full working version of Virtual Fighter Five uh, Final Impact, or whatever it was called on the Final Showdown. So, if that's the case, I will be all over that fucker like a rash. Because I, the fact that I'd be able to play Virtual Fighter Five on PC finally would be absolutely fantastic. But um, yeah, I, as I say, I just wanted to make this little video, just just like a first thoughts thing. I haven't played it enough. I mean, it might turn out that it just gets really repetitive and really boring by the end. But keep an eye out. Keep an eye out because I might make a uh, I might make a final thoughts video as well. But as I say, for now, honest to God, I don't think I've had a game make me lose time like this uh, for a while. I think the last game really was Stardew Valley. That game, that game was sucking, sucking up my time. Like I, I didn't even know, and I, and I had it on Switch, so you can imagine it it went everywhere with me. But uh, this, so far, is a, uh, especially uh, for a non-portable sort of thing, this is really up there for sucking my time. It's currently, it's currently gone one o'clock in the morning, and I didn't even realize this. I, I honestly thought, I mean, I started playing uh, when the baby went to bed at eight o'clock. So, uh, yikes. Literally, I... It doesn't even feel like I've been playing that long. I didn't even realise I was so bloody tired until I started talking. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Um, as I say, I know, you know, put in the comments what you like, but I I know this isn't like a real review. I'm not a, I'm not a proper reviewer anyway, but I, I just have felt like I had to make a video about how great this game was. But thank you very much for listening, and I will see you soon. Bye.